Hey everyone, it's Damnation. Today, crap, to run away. So today I got um, a small pack of Upper Deck 2021 uh, Series 2, Hockey Series 2. Um, I don't know how many cards are in here or supposed to be in here. Um, I got this off the shelf. As you can tell, there's some, there's the whole lid missing and, of course, cards and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not 100% sure of how many are supposed to be in here. Um, but, I mean, who cares, right? It's, it, finding something like this in the wild is pretty whatever. Let's see. It's the kind of only I have. Let's go like this. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'll sixteen. Let's see how many stacks at the top here. So sixteen. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve to the top. So I'm guessing twenty-four cards in a box. So I'm missing um see I'm missing so it's twenty-four in a box. I got sixteen, so eight cards out of the pack. So that's a little disappointing, but like I said finding something like this in the wild is pretty freaking hard to find these days especially because of how reseller or uh you know flippers and crap are and kind of ruin everything for me uh this series uh series two has the young guns K kirill kaprizov that's the one that i'm looking for. that's the one that's the ultimate is the young guns record of course there's other i only have a couple of uh baggies left i think there's like two or three of them in here so if i get something good you know the hits will have to go off the side but. so hopefully you know i get some good stuff in here so we're gonna start with the first pack out of the 16 that i got right off the bat we got mike hoffman it's pretty good Keller, Robbie Fabieri, Jacob Slavin, nice. uh, Chase Prisky, Young Gun, Madison Bowie, Parkovsky, hmm. so far, we got one Young Gun. Turn quick. All right, all right. Ooh, nice Jack Hughes. A weak Opeachy Marquee rookie. A decent Dazzler of Oliver Ekman Larson. He's a good, decent player. Uh, Ivan Barber Fev. <laughs> the Dano Chara. It's kind of weird. Aaron, the biggest dude in the ring league, and then the checklist of Matthews and Pedersen. Both decent players. Like I said, even though these cards, you know, whatever, I think Opichi should have their own, um, their own set, and this is, I think, the weakest um, in this set, in the series and stuff like that, that they brought out. And Ekman Larson. Matthew Brazel, Andre, Andreas Nilsson, Connor Michael, Jonas Carpsolo, 
Nico Fisher, Madison Bowie, uh, Burkowski. So one thing I don't get, and as a hockey collector, why flippers want to get into hockey? It's not like, let's chase Pesky, right? Let's say this guy plays two or three games, right, this season, and he gets sent down to the minors. We might never see that kid again, ever. So his rookie card is going to be like a couple bucks, you know what I mean? And that's the problem with hockey is like you can't guarantee, you can't speculate with rookies and stuff like that. Unless, you know, it's a hot rookie like Kaprizov or how Sidney Crosby was or unfortunately Ovechkin. I say unfortunately because he's an over overbloated player for what he is. That's just my opinion. But, you know, like there's the Gap, Marion Gabbard and stuff like that that are overhyped. But, like, some of them rookies, you know, it's like, oh, it's a good rookie year. But then you look at the rookie and it's like, eh, he might not even play in a nice ho. Shane Bowers. It's a decent Shane Bowers. Like I said, I don't, it's got some foil on it. I don't know if you can tell. I'll predict post those portraits. I don't mind as much. Nagrovic. Other. Nicholas Backstrom. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, okay, so if it wasn't for Nicholas Backstrom, Ovechkin would not have the goals that he would have as of right now. Um, this dude had so many assists passing to him. That's not even funny. Like, this guy made Ovechkin's career. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have the goals that he has. Also, if they didn't, if they didn't take out two-line passing, Ovechkin would be nobody. Because they took out they took out two line passing the year after he came out, and then he just started blowing up. So, yeah. If they still had two line passing and they didn't have freaking Alex or Alexander Backstrom, they they probably wouldn't be really much of anything. It'd be a decent player at best. Connolly, an Islander. It looks like it's a little bit. I don't think it's just his name. Hmm. No, it's not the cut. Just looked off. Nice knee under. Schmaltz. Nice Logan Couture. Uh, it's a decent colon, but again, it's Opeachy. I think that's that's part of the problem for me. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. It's a good card, but it's just... I'd rather have a young gun of him or, you know, something else. Rasmus Anderson and Mike Smith. Hoffman... Same color. It's weird because it's a lot, like some of these, like I don't even know because these don't really play. There's a nice Thomas Hartle uh, upper deck canvas because some of these guys, you know, we don't see at all, you know, in the West. So it's like I don't know how they are, but no, I know Frederick Anderson. He's pretty decent goalie. Jimmy Ben, he's okay. Tarasenko, that's a nice Tarasenko. Yeah, it is a nice tear single though. Not worthy of putting in the a bag bin, but it's tear single. So like some of these like some of these Eastern players, I know who they are. Or West players, I know who they are, but like when I'm looking at East players, it's like I don't know who that is. Nice LeBlanc. So I don't know how good they are, because I don't really watch a whole lot of East East hockey. Nice Walter and Mason Marchment. Nice John Traver nice Javon John Traveris Dazzler. A nice dry sidle. Justin Hull. Ryan Gravis. Well, 
Yeah, I just think it's weird with flippers. It's like, oh, we're going to get by hockey. We're going to flip it. We're going to hold on to this product. It's like, no, don't do that. That's all that crap that happened last year. Nice. All right, Jensen, Cam Fowler, nice Justin Falk, Lucas Demo, Vince Dunn, nice Jonathan Quick, Ooh, nice Marcus Patterson, nice Joel, Joel Erickson Eck. So, what's funny about these? <clears throat> And I don't know if he's playing for uh, the Canadians or not. Montreal Canadiens. I'm not calling them in that the freaking word that they're normally called. But for Montreal Canadian fans, like, I don't know what it is. But anything with Montreal Canadiens on it, like even with hockey cards, it sells pretty freaking quick if you're near. I don't know what it is about you guys. Like when uh, P.K. Subban came out. I was selling his card because I know he he wasn't a I I was selling his cards for like five six hundred bucks his rookie cards that I had and his jersey cards and stuff like that because I knew he wasn't all that good but I knew also knew that Canadian fan, Montreal Canadian fans just would buy up buy up any Montreal Canadian stuff and yes he wasn't a good defenseman Montreal freaking broke him they threw him in too early. And he picked up a lot of bad habits, and he just, like, he was, like, 36th his rookie year, ranked 36th in his rookie year, and, like, he had a terrible second, he, had, he was just, he just picked up a lot of bad habits. He became a more dirtier player, because I used to watch him all the time, because, you know, I wanted to see how good he was, but, like I said, Montreal freaking broke him, and, yeah, he just... I don't know. He was a good defenseman. Like, if they would have, like, played him maybe a couple games, threw him in the minors, brought him back the next year, he probably would have killed it. But, yeah, he did not develop to make healthy, healthy whatevers, or healthy habits in hockey. And when you don't make healthy habits in hockey, you pick up bad habits and you become a dirty player. And he was a dirty player. Nice hellbuck. Brian... Pinho, Pinho, Mackenzie Blackwood. Is that a girl? Huh. I thought it was a girl because it said Mackenzie on it. Brandon Demute. Yeah, the Wild did that once too. With uh, James Shepard, I don't know if anybody remembers James Shepard. Uh, really, he was a really he was a first round pick. I think we had him first. I think he was a first. I don't. Know, I can't remember. But he was a he was supposed to be a really good forward. We put him in too early. We broke him, and he just could not pick it up. And yeah, yeah I, he ended up in a four wheeler accident, broke breaking his friggin' leg. And yeah, they got rid of him. That's Brad Machard there. Uh, Bowen Brian, uh, Colorado rookie, Ethan Bear. He know he doesn't play with them no more. He plays for Carolina Hurricanes. The Minnesota Wild should have went after Ethan Bear and picked him up because he's a really decent for uh, decent defenseman. And then they probably could have been able to. Or, uh, is he a defenseman? Yeah, defenseman. So really good defenseman, defensive defenseman. Like he'll play the defense. Out of that. We should have picked him up. This year for 2021 or 2021 20, 22, and we should have picked him up. He would have been a really good player to have. Ryan Hartman, he's freaking killing it for us. But yeah, I'm upset that we didn't go after him. Eric Rayard. Most. But yeah, Ethan Bear. Nice Nylander, Nick Schmutz, nice Nell Logan Couture, nice Carey Price. Is 
Herkoff. Smith. And a Scott. Ah! Scott Lofton. <clears throat> Kevin LeBlanc. Philip Sliver. Kerjic. Nico Miccolo. Quick. Here's Patterson. Eric's neck. And Trace it. Karkov. Shabbat. Purcell. Uh, Pavel Franco's Franco's Johnson Sam Reinhardt, good player. Yeah, the only other team that I watch as like an Eastern team is Toronto. <laughs> yeah, I watch Toronto in the East. That's about it, but. You know, I don't really get to watch their games because I don't, can't ever find their games on TV. Heskinen. Andre Paulette. Nice Pecorini. Nice Patrick Linney. Nice Cody Glass. But nothing in that one. Again, I'll be friggin' hits, right? Elon Lucic is a good player. I think he might be a little dirty, but can he move? Ryan Reeves, Vedic Venick, Quillick, Hints, last one. So we got okay, Price, Brad Machard, Stallman, Strallman, Brady Chichuk, Molly Olvi, Olvi, Zerkies, Scott Lofton, Ethan Bear, and Ryan Hartman. Let's see. So, Ethan Bear, and Let's see. So, so I'm missing eight cards. I don't know what the hits are. Hit rate is. Boop. But. Yeah. I am. So my fillers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven filler. OPG cards. Uh, nobody decent. Um, except for maybe. I don't know. Uh, Don Coolen. He'd probably be the only one. The exception in there. Like I said, I don't know any capitals. Um, I didn't look to see if he is. So nothing decent out of that. For these, the young guns, um, again, I'm not sure if anything in here is decent. You know, these are mostly Eastern teams again. Um, I did get, like, I did, like, my uh, Dazzlers, the uh, John Traverse, and my Oliver Ekman Larson. I did, I did like that, so I did get decent, on, and I did get my the nice Thomas Hurdle canvas, so I did get some decent stuff in here out of this one. Um, and for the portraits, um, like again, I don't know him, but uh, these two I did, did, I think I did pretty well on these two, the Shane Bowers and Bowen Brim for Colorado. So, out of the... 16 packs that I got and the eight packs I'm missing. I think I did pretty well Nothing bag worthy. Um, I'd have to pick up some bags For them and put them in there, but for now they'll have to just stay on bagged mm. So overall I'm not too 
you know, upset about it. You know, like I said, I found it in the wild and there's only 16 packs. So what are you going to do, right? So, but, um, yeah. Um, that's my video. You know, thanks for watching and enjoying me opening up packs. And yeah, uh, see you guys next time.